Hey everybody, Sam here from Bracketron, here to talk a little bit about the power-up gravity mount. Hopefully you just purchased it, or if you are thinking about purchasing it, this is going to show you a little bit about how it works, how to properly set it up, what's in the box, and how to use some of the unique features that this product has. So let's get right into it with seeing what's in the box. First things first, the device holder. Obviously this is the main component of the mount. We have a gravity auto locking mechanism built into this, which I'll go into a little bit later. So that is the head of the mount. The base of the mount, pretty straightforward. Our temper bond suction cup can mount to either your dashboard or your window, any sort of smooth surface, even if it has a little bit of texture to it, as long as it's relatively flat, this mount will hold to it safely and securely. We also include a vent clip adapter. We know a lot of our customers like to mount their phones and their devices on their air vents. Obviously we wanted to include the proper power adapter. This is kind of the most important aspect of this mount, but we wanted to include the most up-to-date quick charge charger to give the phone its maximum power. And then finally we include one cord wrangler. I'll show you a little bit more about how this works later. So let's get into setting up the mount in the proper spot. Now in this vehicle, I think the best spot to put it would be right here. Now the locking mechanism, before I get it locked in, the tab on the back, it's as simple as pushing down, which engages the suction cup. And if you ever need to move it around or get it readjusted, you flip up the back tab and it's now able to move around. So you set it, you give it a nice little push, and then you push the back flap down, and now it is locked in place until you ever want to move it again. From the head, with the T-notch on the back, line it up with the mount, put it in, and now it's good to go. Next thing to do is attach the cable to the head of the mount. The easiest way to do it is to grab the head of the mount, grab the back end of the charger, which is a micro USB, plug it in the back, you hear a nice little click, it's plugged in, and that's it. Now that your cable is plugged into your mount, it's a matter of attaching it to the base, which is as simple as lining up the T-notch slot in the back to the T-notch on the mount itself. Get it lined up, push it down, hear that nice little snap, and now it's locked in secure, and it's ready to be plugged in to the power socket. Plugging in the power socket is as simple as plugging in any 12 volt power supply into the cigarette lighter of your vehicle. Take the one that's supplied in the box, find the closest one to it on but near your dashboard, plug it in, it's as simple as that. Now you'll see some lights flicker on the back to signify that the mount is indeed getting power. Now the cord wrangler itself can be put wherever you see fit. It's mostly just a way to get the cable that's coming down from the mount somewhere that isn't hanging, covering up buttons, looking a little bit messy. So the cord wrangler is there for you to put into a spot of your choosing. Let's say I put it right about here. Give it a nice firm press. Once it's on a flat spot, a hard press, and then ideally let it sit for at least an hour to get kind of that strongest fit. Once it's there, you should never need to move it again. Then you take your cable, direct it over to the cord wrangler, pop it in, and then your cable is a little bit redirected around your center console, doesn't block any of the buttons, gives it a little less hectic of a feeling up in your dashboard. There are slower charging mounts out there. This actually is one of our mounts from a couple years ago, back when charging technology wasn't as good as it is today. So we have a 10, a five watt charger here on the right and our 10 watt charger here on the left. Get into the five watt charger, says charging wirelessly as opposed to fast charging wirelessly on this. And even the time to fully charge will be different and a lot longer on this five watt charger than it is on this 10 watt charger. So let's get back to the gravity mount at hand and we'll wrap this up. Now the last step is to get the mount 
lined up properly with the Qi coil that is within your smartphone. Now this part can vary from phone to phone just because inside the phone itself there's a wrapped cord that's actually receiving the wireless charge from the mount and that could be a little bit higher in certain phones, a little bit lower in other phones. So we have a step to adjust our wireless charging mount to work with any phone out there no matter where the wireless charging coil is in the device. So the way that we go about setting this up is you put your phone loosely in the mount and you slide it down until you see your phone begin to start charging. With my phone, it's going to be right about there. See the phone kicked on, I'm getting a fast wireless charging notification on the bottom. I see the lightning bolt on top signifying that it's charging. Then what you do is you squeeze the sides and then now you're able to adjust the bottom to get perfectly snug with the bottom of the device. And then you just let go of everything and now your phone is adequately set up to receive the wireless charge directly on the wireless charging coil. Then when you wanna take it out, you just grab your phone, lift it. And then similarly, the spring inside pushes up on the bottom tab, which also releases the side tabs, and the phone is yours to take. So it's it's as simple as using one hand to throw your phone in and take the phone out. You don't have to fiddle with any buttons or using two hands to open any arms. It's a simple one-handed operation. All right, now the final piece is using the optional vent adapter if you so choose to put the wireless charging mount on your air vents instead of on your dashboard or window. Me personally, I use this one in my car. I just like the mount to be a little bit lower. A lot of people like it up on the dashboard or even on the window. We just thought we'd include this just for you to decide whether to put it on your dash, window, any place you want it. We like giving our customers the option. Installing it is as simple as lining up the back teeth with your air vents Slide them in, give the tightening knob a couple turns just till it's snug around the air fins. Putting the support leg underneath, any way you can get it to kind of support the overall mechanism from bouncing around. This part is a little bit finesse, but it's important to hold up to the weight of the mount itself. Grab the back of the mount, line it up with the vent adapter, put it in and wait for the snap. Just a nice little push down. And then once it's in and locked, just as simple as before, putting your phone in, the arms will close. And as you can see, it's fast wireless charging again. I'm gonna just put the cord into the cable management spot and you're good to go. Hopefully now you have a little bit more understanding of how to utilize some of the, these components, how to get everything set up properly. If you have any questions about anything we went over here, just give our customer service a call. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.